Hey guys, welcome to the shop. I'm Fred. So uh, tonight it's just uh, some shop updates. Uh, I've got some new uh, tooling here for my lathe and some odds and ends that I uh, purchased um, from uh, the website. I'll give you the name of the website. Um, what I would like to do is like to say thanks to all my subscribers that have hung in there with me over my four, four month hiatus. Uh, it's just been busy at work and uh, just so many things going on. Uh, I didn't have much time getting into the shop, but that's going to change in a little while. I've got a little project I want to start. Uh, I want to build a uh, uh, one of those rotary welding tables. And uh, I've seen a, a couple of them on the internet, DYI rotary welding tables. I don't need anything really big because my shop is already filled with tools and everything else so I need something small and portable so uh, um, I got a, uh, a gearbox that I, that I purchased there it was on sale at uh, Princess Auto uh, good buy 100 to 1 uh, good for a quarter horsepower I'm going to try to find a, uh, a 12 volt motor to operate this because I do have a uh, 12 volt speed controller in one of my cupboards there from a previous project I was messing around with Anyways, uh, so I got these new tools and some uh, additional carbides. So I'll, I'll give you uh, some close-up shots. Um, they work awesome. I was doing some just test runs on different material, aluminum, so 4140, uh, stainless, and uh, yeah, they worked really well. Anyways, uh, let me get you to the tools. All right, hang in there. Okay guys, so I uh, bought uh, some multiple uh, uh, cutters for the uh, lathe. Uh, we'll start with these ones here. These are CNMG cutters here. And uh, like I said, the, uh, the price was good. Um, most of us uh, hobby machinists uh, are on always a, a tight budget. And... Uh, and... Uh, well, uh, if it's uh, if the price is right, we'll we'll go for it. And uh, so those were C and MGs. These are T uh, T and MG cutters. This one here to get into tight corners and stuff. So I've got a left hand and a right hand. And then I got some W and MG uh, cutters, a left hand and a right hand, as well. Now I got these. From a website called Wish. Uh, a lot of my friends were, were telling me about it. Got to go look at it. Um, and uh, yeah, I was in, on there and I just put uh, lathe turning tools, and lo and behold, uh, a whole bunch of uh, uh, carbides came up and uh, carbide holders. So I thought, you know what, I'll give it a whirl. I'll, I'll buy a couple. And uh, I bought the uh, CNMG as a set. The uh, the uh, TNMGs as a set and the WMGs as a set. So they came with left and right hand, and the uh, CNMGs came with uh, left and right hand chamfering and basically a straight on tool for uh, turning as well. So I also bought uh, some spare tire bites. Um, which were also reasonably priced I bought I got more on order because the last thing you want to do is run out of carbites when you're doing a job I also got this uh, neat uh, work lamp here let me see if I can get it off the table I'll move it over a little bit here so you can see it so that's got a a Cree a Cree a two three Cree LEDs in it and it's got the little toggle to turn it on and off and your uh, little transformer there to plug in. Also uh, purchased a, uh, a misting tool. Uh, let me get this out of the way. So I got this misting tool. It was, uh, I think it was $11. Um, comes with the hose, comes with the uh, adapter on the end to adjust your mist, open it up and, you know, make your final adjustments and stuff. And uh, yeah, I thought, wow, you can't go wrong with this. This is a... Uh, you know, 11 bucks. Uh, I have looked other places and they're, just the hose itself with the nozzle on the end is uh, is about 30 bucks. But uh, 
Yeah, the light, I said, uh, that, that misting hose was $11. This light here was 11 bucks. Um, I went to another website, I think it was uh, uh, Banggood. I think it was like, on that website, it was about 19 to $20. So, you know, like I said, I'm always looking for a deal. So works great. I can put it on the mill and move it around when I'm cutting because I am missing a light on my milling machine. And uh, I got the hose adapter with the valve on the mill already, so it all worked out at the end. So, yeah, so those are the few purchases I picked up over the uh, Christmas and New Year. Um, that was the only thing I wanted to upgrade on my, uh, on my lathe were the uh, cutters. I have a couple more uh, cutters coming in, uh, VN MG type cutter. Um, um, so, yeah, that all worked out. Anyway, so yeah, that's uh, the gist of it. A um, few more updates. Uh, I did get a, uh, a new welder and uh, 275 amp welder. Because the uh, 150 amp, uh, when I was doing my, uh, my hydraulic press, uh, which I'll give you a shot of in just a minute. I keep it under the cover because my son's always in here doing some welding so I don't want to melt in the hoses inadvertently so yeah I keep it covered up because it's right beside the welding bench so yeah that's my my 50 ton press there and uh, and uh, works great uh, like I said uh, uh, does does the work I need to do it with but yeah so uh yeah got the tools got my light got my mister and uh when i get a chance i get the welder set up well uh, i'll give you a few shots of that all right hang yeah so guys so i got the like i said the small tools and uh, a couple small purchases over the last uh four months uh i do apologize for not trying to get anything out there it's just like i said I've uh, been very busy at work and lots of stuff going on around the house. So, uh, yeah. So, anyways, uh, I'd like to say thanks to all my subscribers that have hung in there and all my new subscribers. You guys have a great night. Bye for now.